Now to a developing story. Major John Kaler, the Kellogg man accused of killing a family of four over the summer, was back in court this afternoon. Crem News' Kyle Simchuk was in court as Kaler's lawyers fought to have his charges dropped. Major John Kaler appeared in court this afternoon wearing an orange jumpsuit. We saw his wife and other family members sitting in the pews right behind him. On the other side of the court, you had at least one family member of the four victims and other supporters. Kaler's defense is now asking the judge to throw out his confession, saying law enforcement violated his rights that day. A Shoshone County lieutenant and an Idaho State Police detective both taking the witness stand today, explaining why Major John Kaler was read his Miranda rights more than 90 minutes after being in police custody and after prosecutors say the 31-year-old confessed to shooting his four neighbors. Kaler's attorney wants the judge to throw out the confession since Kaler had not yet been informed he had the right to remain silent and to have an attorney present. Uh, when I initially approached, um, nobody appeared to be in any sort of distress um, compared to what I was dispatched to. Shoshone County Lieutenant Gerald Baliski says he was on scene for a matter of seconds before Kaler voluntarily said he shot his four neighbors. He detained Kaler and placed him in the back of his patrol car. Idaho State Police Detective Justin Klitsch told the court he did read Kaler his Miranda rights roughly 90 minutes later prior to an interview, once the detective shared a personal story to make Kaler more open to talking. That detective says he asked Kaler if he needed water, what chair he wanted to sit in, but did not ask any questions about the murders until after reading those Miranda rights. After you read the defendant his Miranda rights, did the defendant acknowledge those rights? He did. Uh, did he choose to speak with you after that point? He did. After that point, did you begin asking the defendant questions specific to the event? I did. Did the defendant respond to those questions? He did. Uh, at some point, did the defendant assert his right to have counsel present? He did. What did you do at that point? Uh, I discontinued the interview. Now, prosecutors say Kaler's confession was captured on body cam video, so now it'll be up to a judge to decide if that evidence is included in trial. That trial scheduled to begin January 9th. Reporting in Wallace, Idaho tonight, Kyle Simchuk, Kremtune.